Hi you guys, what is going on? My name is Jordan and welcome back to another episode of my best gun slash custom class guide for Modern Warfare 3. Today we're going to be going through the PP90M1, it is a low ranked unlock submachine gun which is very powerful and very effective so guys sit back and enjoy. The PP90M1 is unlocked at level 28 at multiplayer and is unlocked at level 38 in survival mode. Now it has a 36 rounds magazine size but that can be extended to 54 with extended mags. The PP90M1 also has a low recoil rate which makes it a great gun though it has low penetration compared to some of the other submachine guns. Some of the attachments for the gun include a red dot sight, silencer, rapid fire, ACOG scope, holographic sight, Hummer scope, extended mags as well as a thermal scope. Going on to the proficiencies, it has kick, range, attachments, focus, melee and stability which are different to some of the assault rifle proficiencies. The PP90M1 is one of the most deadliest submachine guns in the game and is capable of winning any gunfight in a short range engagement. The PP90M1 is one of the most easiest submachine guns to get along with because it has low recoil and a high fire rate. Its reputation in the community is known as the Little PP which is appropriate because it does look like a little willy of course. The PP90 was the most easiest gun to get clips for and it is one of my most favourite guns in the game and it always will be because it looks like a willy and it's also fun to use. So talking about the most commonly used attachments for the PP or the little willy as we shall call it from now on. The commonly used attachments are a red dot sight, a silencer, rapid fire as well as extended mags. Now the red dot sight you would use if you want to improve your aim if you didn't exactly get along with the iron sights because not a lot of people do. The silencer to play a stealth role when playing in such games as team deathmatch and stuff like that. Rapid fire to increase the rate of fire and to get a heads up on your enemy get the advantage. And extended mags to win lots of gunfights with multiple enemies so that would be useful for such things as ground war and I just tripped on my words. Now going on to the lethal and tactical grenade of size I chose a frag so you can control your explosives unlike a semtex and a tactical insertion so then you can choose where you respawn and you can hopefully respawn near the enemy so it eliminates all the running. Now going on to the perks we have sleight of hand pro, assassin pro as well as steady aim pro. Now slight of hand pro so then you can reload your weapon quickly because that is essential with SMGs and it also enables you to swap weapons faster. Now assassin pro because you don't want to appear on the radar as well as you want to be immune to counter UAV and EMP because they are both very annoying kill streaks. And lastly, Steady Aim Pro, so then you can have a better hip fire. And also the Pro version enables your weapon to be ready quicker after sprinting, so this is gonna give you an advantage over your enemy. And the last thing to talk about would be the perks or the strike package or the point streak which you are going to be using. I advise using the specialist package because you get more XP that way and also you become a super soldier. I recommend using the perks Extreme Conditioning, Scavenger as well as Stalker Extreme Conditioning to run faster, Scavenger Pro to replenish ammo because with a sub submachine gun with rapid fire you're going to burn through the ammo and Stalker to keep up with your enemies while they are on the move. And lastly we have the alternate class which is the PP90M1 of course with extended mags and I think the flinch proficiency. We have a 44 Magnum Akimbo because that's just fucking lethal, a C4, a concussion grenade, a sleight of hand pro, hardline pro and dead silence pro. And for your point streaks possibly a UAV counter UAV and a SAM torrent and use whatever death streak you want. But don't use final stand or dead man's hand, otherwise I will troll the shit out of you. So guys, that is it for this video. Please do give it a like if you like the video, and I shall hopefully see you in the next one, guys. Bye.